Hey guys, welcome to the tip of the week by Blender File. My name is Shup and today we'll be talking about some transform orientations. So these are basically uh, some orientation for your manipulator so that you can tweak on some minute level of detail with precision and accuracy. So let's hop on into Blender and see what these things do. Okay, so in Blender you'll find these transformation orientation right down over here. There are five options you can choose from and we'll be using a monkey for reference. Okay, so the first one is global. Now the global is it orients the manipulator handles which are these three arrows over here according to the world of Blender. Now the world of Blender is basically having this green line as the y-axis, the red as the x-axis and the height or Z as the blue axis. We can see the Z line over here. Turn that on. Okay, you can see the blue line, right? That is by default turned off. I don't know why. I'll turn on another thing called the screen cast. Okay, now you can see what I am pressing. Now, uh, it doesn't matter how you are rotating or uh, what the orientation of your mesh is. The handle will always be pointing towards the global axis, right? It uh, doesn't matter where the object is kept, what its rotation is, what its scale is, it will always be aligned to the global orientation. Next is the local orientation. Now this by default looks like it's also similar to the global, but it actually aligns with the object's local world, uh, local space, right? So if I rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis, now the z will be facing the y-axis on the negative direction. That's because the monkey's head is currently associated with the monkey's z axis, you know, if that makes sense, okay? Right, so this basically is dependent on the orientation of the monkey. Now once you apply the rotation, it'll uh, get reset back to the global you know axis now you can again move it to some random rotation and will change accordingly so that's the local next comes is the normal a normal it works on faces vertexes edges and things on the components right so if I select a face over here it'll uh, align the manipulators according to the face normals so if we turn on the normals over here you can see these blue lines are basically the direction of the x-axis oh sorry the z-axis so if i select this the z will be according to exactly what the direction of this blue arrow for each single phase it will be different right so it's also different for every normal every edge so now if i select a vertex it will be aligned according to each vertex is normal so you can see the z-axis snaps and x and y are changed accordingly so this can be very helpful if you move if you want to move this really out towards you know normally outwards you can just press z once it'll snap according to the global one now if you press z again it'll go with the local axis now so that's how you do it that's really simple so whatever it's set to over here you'll just press uh the grab rotation or i mean the axis constraint twice so you want to move it globally move it on one time pressing the Z axis, move it twice, press the Z axis again and move on the Z normal. So interesting thing. Next is a really weird thing. Okay. So this is the gimbal. Now gimbal is an interesting uh, orientation. Now I I uh, was researching about this over uh, Wikipedia and the Blend Manual and I still don't know how to explain this but I'll show you so it basically constrains only one axis so that you can move according to the other two so in this case which is the y-axis now if you rotate from the front view you'll see the x-axis is basically rotating with respect to the y-axis Now z is constant y is constant but our x-axis is now pointing at a weird angle very weird now you can have it like 180 degrees or something it's really weird I, I don't know how to explain this so it's basically working like a gimbal you know like a gyroscope it also works on its uh, faces so but it you know 
constraints according to the local orientation of the mesh so whatever you have done it in the uh, local space it will be same in the game will for the faces so I don't know how exactly this thing works how to explain this but if you do anything from any other axis you know nothing happens these two are constant z axis is constant if I move it from uh, the right view nothing happens nothing is happening only the x axis is doing its thing it's weird alright next is our view now view works like a 2d plane so from any orientation you'll see only the y and the x-axis now it's basically like you're working in a 2d environment like photoshop or flash or any other thing that you can think of okay in game whatever right so now you can move it only according to the view right so it'll always snap the y-axis up top and the x-axis going towards the right so just front view I'm going to go to front view and move it on the X and similarly you can just go over there move it on the X pressing X twice it will move on the view angle alright so you can see there is that slight blue axis over there right you can always move it on the Z axis press G twice and it will come closer or go farther from the screen okay so that's interesting now these can be helpful really at times when you are when you want to move things and shrink and fatten them but you know the usual shrink and fat doesn't work sometimes very well so you, then, you have, uh, then you'll have to do this thing manually so at that time normally really helps it so that is it for the tip of the week and i'll catch you guys next week with a new tip of the week bye